TJ Friedel of the Reds, former walk on at Reno, is leading the world with four. And Harold has a little bit more on his skill set and more on this very fine craft. Well, Matt, it's interesting, you know, with all the new rules, you now have guys with speed. The speed game is coming back. We've been out at some ballparks ourselves, me and Matt, and myself in particular the last few weeks, watching guys working on things in pre-game pre BP. Let's take a look at TJ. Four butt hits. I want to talk about the technique that he's using. Look at the step and bring it towards the first baseman. One thing I'm seeing is defenses have not had people bunt on them, so they don't know how to defend. It's unbelievable. That's just a base hit. That's a nice drop bunt in front. Just he's trying to shoot that down third baseline. It dies on the pitcher. Easy base hit. But bringing the ball to second base is going to be the one I think that a lot I used to love to utilize, and I think you can see it happen a lot in the big leagues. Here's one here. Nice jump down third base. No chance. That's a traditional drag bunt, right? But this one here, so many guys don't know what to do. The first baseman vacates. Your foot race to beat him. It's on. Game over. So couple things on lessons on bunting. If you're a left-handed hitter and you're looking to bunt for a base hit to the right side, I want to get a ball that's up because I want to get here and boom, push that ball towards the second baseman. That's what I'm trying to do. So I want a high pitch. If I get it down low, I'm probably going to deaden it. All right, if I'm trying to get a bunt for a base hit, I want to get a pitch down here and I want to bunt it into the dirt. I learned how to bunt on AstroTurf. So if you bunt on turf, you have to learn how to deaden the ball. You deaden it on the dirt circle. So those are a couple things. I could talk all day, Matt on bunting, footwork, all that, but that's the key to there.